<laughs> okay, ladies and gents, so we're all ready for action. Well, this is, I, as you know, I do short stories, not poems. Uh, and I'll try each year that there is a UK live to come up with something new for the, for the session. So this is a new one of mine. And it's called A Walk in the Park. Louis Pasteur, who discovered both vaccination and how to pasteurise milk, said that both had been largely chance discoveries, but he added the very important rider that chance favours the prepared mind. In fact, I would want to take that idea further and suggest that every insight, every experience and life event that moves us forward and lets us grow as human beings favours the prepared mind. We can't lift ourselves out of bad situations or change anything until, we've, until we have opened our minds to the possibility. We take, we take charge of our lives when we are ready to take charge of them. We move on when we are ready to move on. We fall in love when we are ready to fall in love. Sometimes we are perfectly aware that our mind is in this prepared state. In the closing months of the 1960s, when I stepped from the Belfast Boat Express onto the platform of Euston Station, having spent the night fighting off seasickness amid the prone bodies of beer and piss-smelling football supporters on the floor of the second-class lounge of the Ulster Monarch, I was fully aware of this sense of readiness. This was going to be the first great turning point in my young life. I wasn't a schoolboy anymore. I was free to make my own life choices. The world, or more precisely England, was my playground. I could live in a squat. I could grow my hair long like the Beatles. I could stop going to Mass on a Sunday. I could get a motorbike. I could get a girlfriend. Although I was no older than my former friends at the Belfast Sixth Form College, whose faces were already beginning to fade from my memory, I felt myself considerably wiser. I knew something that they didn't, or that they were unwilling to accept. People don't find themselves in India or anywhere else. People make themselves, and they can do it wherever they happen to be. Creating a life is not a question of geography. It's a question of making choices and acting on them, of being open to change, deciding to do things and letting nothing stand in your way. Life, I had decided, was an unending series of opportunities there for the taking. This was still my frame of mind the following morning after my first night in the boarding house that I'd seen advertised in the Irish news. The landlady, a southern Irish widow with a helmet of lacquered white hair around her swollen red face, <laughs> had warned me of the terrible moral and physical dangers the big city posed for a naive boy like me. She'd recited a list, of which my mother would have been proud, of the many things that I was not allowed to do. <laughs> Prominent on the list was taking girls back to my room. <laughs> I decided that my first day in London would be devoted to the task of finding somewhere else to live. Uh, to a boy used to the few dozen back streets of West Belfast, the scale of London was simply incomprehensible. The streets went on forever and in every direction. Big ones and little ones, some of them choked with angry traffic, some littered with broken cars up on bricks, loud with the cries of dirty-faced children on roller skates or displaying their skills with hula hoops or jigging around to the distorted sounds of Cliff Richard in the shadows from some overdriven transistor radio. Mean-looking stray cats watched me from under cars or searched through the rubbish that overflowed the galvanised iron dustbins. Were these the streets that were paved with gold? No, I decided they must be elsewhere, and I had a whole lifetime in which to find them. My morning was spent writing down addresses from newsagents' notice boards and plodding hopefully from one prospect to the next, under the guidance of the minute print of my A to Z pocket atlas of London, only to be told in each case that the room was either taken or not suitable for a person like me. 